Hey guys, what's going on? This is Alex with HD Alex Films, and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how five different ways you can make your Android phone run faster. So without any further ado, let's go right ahead and get started. The first one is to disable the unused widgets that you have on your Android phone. Such as some include, all you do is um, basically the widgets are over these things right here up top. Android has a lot of them. As you notice, my screen does not have hardly any widgets on them. So if we take a closer look here, you're going to notice that there are no widgets. Alright, one thing we can do to disable them is go into uh, our, our here, our uh, app selector, go into widgets. And then you're going to have a list that's going to display all the widgets uh, right up here. So if you scroll over a few pages, you're going to find a lot of widgets that get installed with applications when you install them from the Play Store. So you really got to watch out for when you do that. All right, uh, some widgets you do need. Uh, for me, I use Facebook a lot. So I do require this widget here to quickly post to Facebook for you guys on my HD Alex Films channel. I do use this phone right here and I post using this. This phone is running uh, iOS or Android 4.0.4 .4 ice cream sandwich. Um, and yeah, so let's go right ahead. Uh, basically, disable your widgets that you don't need. All you do is just uh, drag them and uh, hold and drag until the widget lights up red. And then go to the trash can and then until it lights up red or um, move it out of the screen. To add one, all you do is just drag it into screen and then add the widget right there. Another one is to disable the um, multitasker or disable apps on the multitasker. What you do to open the multitasker on Android is hold the uh, home button, the middle button, and it opens up this window here. All you do here, it's sort of like the iOS or on iPhone's um, multitasker, all you do is just uh, swipe right or left, doesn't matter, and this disables the applications running in the background, which speed up and um, increase the battery life on your Android device. So I definitely recommend you do that as well. All right, now, number three is to uh, use dark wallpapers. Uh, now this phone does have an AMOLED LED display, so it is a really good idea you do use dark wallpapers. That way the screen doesn't have to work as hard as it normally ha would on a um, regular or high intensity wallpaper. Uh, you can choose from a few different wallpapers within the settings application by going into settings, display, and then selecting wallpaper, and then wallpapers down here. You have a few to choose from. Now I definitely recommend choose the darker ones towards the, this way. You can use this one right here. I definitely recommend this one, these two, this one. Uh, that's a really good one. That's probably the darkest one I could find. Um, or the blue one, the blue waters also do a really good job at this. As you see, it is a little dark. And uh, the one I got off of a website or off of a wallpaper application, I really like the one I'm using. It has like sort of a blue to a water or smoke uh, theme up top here. It's uh, not too bad and it does uh, serve me very well. Number four is to uninstall the used applications. Uh, so if you don't, if you have a lot of applications, not like me, but if you have a lot of applications that you download from the Play Store, most of these are stock apps uh, like these, and you don't use them, I definitely recommend you uninstall them because um, it just has to be uninstalled in order for them to uh, work, and, and it saves the space on your hard drive, making it much easier to make it much faster to access stuff on your hard drive on your OS instead of having to go and move on to a different memory drive. Alright, so the way you do that is you can go ahead and actually uninstall them from here. All you do is just hold on it and go to uninstall there. But in that one, I do want to use it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, move that out of here. So uh, if you put that in a folder, all you do is just move it out of here and move it there. Uh, but pretty much, I'm just going to show you quickly. All you do is just go right here and you can remove them off your home screen, but that's you only remove them off your home screen. What you have to do is you have to go into the app switcher and remove them off of here. Um, and then you can also check if you go into settings and if you scroll down here, you have a lot of applications. This shows you all the applications that have been downloaded from the Play Store. Uh, so I definitely recommend check this out. It also tells you your internal storage if you do not have an uh, if you do not have an external storage, which I don't uh, at this moment. Here it tells you the applications that are running and it's, you can show the cache processes which are very little. And if you go into all, you have the option to clear the cache. Now I definitely recommend you do this. Uh, it saves up storage space. So if you take a look for a moment, I have 235 megabytes free. When I go ahead and clear the cache, which is 47.79 megabytes, I'm gonna go ahead and clear that cache. It's gonna go clear all the applications that have been and storing cache on my Android OS device. And once you clear it, it's gonna say my storage space now it's 220 megabytes. 
as well as um, clear my cache is zero megabytes right there. All right, uh, the final way is to restart your phone time to time. I definitely recommend you do this. I want, uh, all you do is just uh, simply hold down the power button until it brings up the Android OS start menu. You have the option to power off, restart, airplane mode, and a few different options here. Now the one you want to do is you want to restart, close all applications, and restart phone. That clears the cache, that clears your history, that clears everything, making it much easier for you to go ahead and run Android faster on your OS device. Those have been five ways you can use to speed up your Android device. If you guys liked that video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more if you guys enjoyed this video. I'll be bringing you guys more Android stuff and more Android videos about reviews about the Samsung Galaxy S5 and stuff. So if you guys like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Check out more of my videos on my channel. Please subscribe to my channel for more future updates. Bye guys, until next time. Peace.